to my channel and today I'm doing the review on Elfin Lita if I'm pronouncing that right correctly from butchering it I'm sorry but um this is the anime that made me say uh what the break <laughs> am I watching because Elfin Lala if you have seen this anime it's not for children it is definitely not and I remember clicking on this and I didn't know what I was getting myself into until I saw one scene that if y'all know what I'm talking about, you know the scene I'm talking about. And it just goes zero to a hundred real quick and then I'm just like, my mind, I'm like, what am I watching? Like, 13 episodes later in, I'm like, I'm already in too deep. There's no turning back. And I'm just like, I shouldn't have watched this at the young age when I did. And the thing about it though, this thing came out in 2004. I'm like, bro, what it? Why didn't, why didn't YouTube like stop me from watching this anime? But it was too late now. Um, basically this is, um, Open Lines basically like a, I would say like a, a horror slash revenge anime. I'm being clear, clearly honest here. With a bit of a supernatural tendency. Think of X-Men, but a very, very rated R X-Men and not always the happy ending that you go see in X-Men movies sometimes. Um, but, uh, Open Lines, it's a lot. A lot to do with. A lot of, um. Uh, Emotional scarring, um, alienation, jealousy, revenge, the value of life, you know, seem to talk about when I say that, uh, emotional, physical abuse, a lot of supernatural powers that are, kind of reminds you of YouTube or the Pokemon movie, and then this, in the face of a little girl, not a little girl, when she grows up, but still, coming of age as well, Lucy, and then I'm just like, I got mentally scarred when watching this anime, like, it's a lot. This series is a lot because y'all know what I'm talking about when I when I say certain scenes and I'm just like in this anime itself and I'm just like, well, guys, it's fine. It's fine. We thriving, kind of. We probably need to go to the therapy. That's probably what I need to do. If you ever watch this anime, you probably need to go to therapy, which. Or just talk to somebody who's who's seen the anime because uh, there are some moments that are cute and lighthearted but sometimes you're just like ah those are those scenes where you're like i appreciate my life now so much more and um there should have been like oh on youtube if you're 18 or then you can proceed they didn't ask me that on youtube it should have uh it's also based off of manga as well but elf and lana was a lot it was a horror anime that just just not really well, <laughs> It scarred me, but not in a bad way. I'm just like, whenever anyone mentions that name, everyone just turns and look, and you're just like, you you know what it is without saying too much or going to it. You know, basically what Elf and Lada is. You know what the deal is with it. And then you're just like, yeah, no, so you you understand what what this is about. Basically, the no, the no, there doesn't need to be any explanation or further depth into this this, this anime, which is Elf and Lada. And I'm just like. When are we gonna stop playing God and start creating bio and look like humans, people? Like, come on. You think we would learn our lessons by now? But you know, anime doesn't tend to follow that pro crow. If this is open law and you're just like, yikes. You create this bio weapon that has emotions and create a new species that is similar to look like cat have cat ears apparently. And I'm just like, um, oh, why is then she flipped the switch, then she has very murderous tendencies and ranges upon the people that created her, and it's a lot, but uh, and then you touch with the feels with certain episodes in this series, and you're just like, yep, I value life, and all here's of life in general, and then you're just like, why did I get myself into this? But the cereal wall was great, I would just say make sure you have a very, very strong stomach when watching this series, because it takes you on a world of course of, of emotions and I'm saying that lightly and I'll just put it nicely without giving too much away because if y'all know the scene I'm talking about in this series y'all know that I can't really go into more specifications of that scene and other scenes in this series and I'm just like but think about her there's more of her another person like her without giving too much deals away and I'm just like this is kind of like x-men or pokemon youtube type stuff but it's does a lot of has a lot of themes, a lot of emotions, and then I'm just like, y'all, if y'all don't watch this, if y'all are like having a bad day or anything, just don't watch this when you, 
just don't watch this movie like in a bad mood or anything. Just don't watch it. I'm like, that's me just putting it nicely. Like, do not watch this if you are emotionally unstable. Do not watch this if you're just like, hey, it was a horror nice and gory to watch. Then sure, if you want to watch it on Halloween, that's fine. That's totally fine. Just. Be mentally paired of what you're about to watch and what you're about to go into because you are on a rabbit hole of emotions and I think it does not necessarily um put you on a, a ride basically. So the whole plot is like these like overall small plot of it is like humans create this bio weapon that you give a girl an like, iron cat ears as you can kind of see from this little picture and I'm just like this can't be good. And also if you create something, you know, um, and especially if you give it, like, human emotions, don't reject it, because, um, there's only two things that can go wrong, and then I got flashbacks to the Mewtwo scene where he was just like, so I'm just a weapon, a toy, y'all don't care, they look like, flip the switch, I'm just like, okay, um, this is fine, this is not fine, everyone needs to run away, <laughs> you know, and I'm just like, ah, it's a, this anime is a lot. And also with the whole supernatural powers that that evolved in this series, I'm like, it kind of reminds you of like, what was it a nice way of putting this? Um, invisible arms that help create these mass murders. And I'm just like, okay, I'm done. But like, also, don't create something so powerful that you can't control it or have a backup playing when everything goes awry, you know? Um, but you know, that's something who, you know, um, you will get into the series if you watch it all the way through. Um, the helmet is also part of her general aesthetic, but uh, there's more to her besides her being a murderous weapon, you know, she's a really nice person, deep out. I would just say on the fair say side, don't piss her off. But you know, it's this something that I have noticed when watching the series. I'm like, I question myself every time I watch them, you know, like, um, what am I watching? And um, also, if you do watch the review, please keep in mind that, um, well, when you watch this, don't feel too bad for the characters in the series. Some of you might say, why are they out of sheer stupidity? What well, they were thinking when they, you know, when they interact with this Lucy character in this anime. But other than that, I'm just like, hopefully you have a strong will and a strong stomach because this is a lot of gore and I'm just like in my mind I'm just like what am I watching what I got myself into but you know that that seems to be um <coughs> what I get into most days you know when watching anime and you're just like I can't turn back now and what have I gotten into but you know it's fine it's it's my life now what I've come to terms with you know um watching any horror anime i kind of my relation like when you watch that first episode and then you know that saying in anime when you get the third episode stuff goes down even the first episode stuff goes down we haven't reached the third episode yet and then you're just like oh boy this got more intense th than it should have been but you know that's what it is what it is comment down below if you know the scene that i'm talking about and i'm that i kind of don't want to mention because i feel like i mentioned it i'm not gonna have two reactions gonna Ugh, shiver or cry. So let me not talk about it. Uh, but other than that, thank you for returning to my anime review of Elf and Logan. Comment down below if you have actually seen the series. If you have not, if you plan on watching it, just said take it with a grain of salt. Be very cautious and uh, mentally prepare yourself about your about endurance and witness to. Until then, thank you for returning my review for anime review. Until I see you next time. Until then, bye.